Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a singles reading. This is for singles, okay? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. This is a message from my guides for you. This reading won't be like anybody else's because they never are. We're going to start right here. We're going to get one of these wherever it falls out or I pick it or whatever the case is. And we're going to look on the bottom unless something crazy happens, but we'll see what happens. Then we're going to use this deck right here. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for singles. This reading is not time specific, so hey, it is what it is, right? So what do we got for Cancer? This could be coming right up. That just came out of my mouth, right? So what do we have for Cancer? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. What do we got for Cancer singles? Well, I guess you haven't really been putting yourself out there, have you? You got to flirt. I mean, it's reverse. We're not going to take it that way. But Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Put yourself out there. Start flirting with people. Come on now. It's time, right? Flirt. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Nobody wants to hear that, right? But our upbringing affects our current relationships because we learn. We learn from our parents. If we were abandoned, we tend to abandon our partners. If we weren't loved, it's hard to love other people. If we weren't loved, we crave love. We try to prove ourselves. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. It's time to forgive. It's time for you to be your own person. Let go. Let go of the pain. Let go of whatever it is that you are harboring that goes all the way back to your childhood. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Apparently you have to make some sort of effort, which makes sense. you got to put yourself out there. You do. I don't know. We're not going to touch those because it's not part of the reading. But you need to put yourself out there. You need to make a big effort. <clears throat> What do we got for Cancer, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? Singles. What is up for them in regards to their love life? Justice. Somebody's been in a karmic contract. <laughs> and it probably wasn't a good one. This is bad karma. This could be the end of a contract. You know, this is bad juju, bad karma, lack of integrity, unfair treatment. Um... Unbalanced, lack of integrity, lack of justice, lack of truth. Somebody may not be accepting the truth or telling the truth. Night, definitely untrustworthy individual here. So just beware. Somebody is un that, that the Knight of Swords reverse, untrustworthy individual, energy thief. Somebody has not been acting with integrity. They haven't been they haven't been acting with integrity at all. There's lack of truth. Somebody had been telling the truth. Oh, son of a bitch. I can't I, come on now. I would really like a better reading than this, but you know it is what it is. Somebody is definitely not telling the truth. This is a liar. Pants on fire. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Um master manipulator. Very this is a trickster, somebody very cunning. Oh, God, about a, something about happiness. Somebody's probably lying about their happiness. Ooh. Ooh. So we have somebody here that is emotionally unavailable. Unable to open their heart. Cold and withdrawn. I can't. It is what it is. I can't make it up and I'm not going to. You know, I'm not. Whew. Oh my goodness gracious. 
I'd rather be alone. I'd rather be alone. I'm just fine by myself. Well, son of a bitch. The Empress. And this makes sense. We got we have the Empress down here. We have a very beautiful, beautiful person, very beautiful and abundant, kind, nurturing, loving. She gives birth to a new life. This right here, you have the power to create, to get whatever you want. You have the power to have a new life. You have power to start something new whenever you want. So Cancer, I feel as though you have you have you have an offer coming in. You do have an offer coming in, or you're gonna make an offer, whichever one it is. Um, it could go either way. This is an unexpected um, Oh God, my mind just went blank. It's an unexpected uh opportunities like somebody you run into somebody this is a vehicle it's like you unexpectedly run into somebody i feel like this is somebody that you could have a deep bond with i feel like this is somebody that you may even have a, a contract with or you have had a contract with in the past i feel as though there's been some lies there's been some deception I feel as though you're going to receive a message from somebody, and it's going to be a good message. It's going to be a positive message. I feel like we have somebody here that has been through a repression. They have. They've been through a repression. They've lost themselves. They've lost their... They went through a, a loss of self. And I feel as though this, it, this, this repression... Ha, when it was happening, caused somebody to shut down emotionally. Somebody shut down their feelings emotionally. And the challenge, this is the challenge position, is opening your heart, letting somebody in. Here we have focus on right now, I'm focusing on myself. I'm, now I'm, I'm working on my abundance. I'm, fo I'm focusing on my money. I'm focusing on my job. I'm focusing on my health. I'm focusing on me. I'm focusing on everything but love. So we got somebody here that is focusing on everything but love. And this makes complete sense. Flirt, make the effort, it's time to heal. There could be mother issues, okay? There, there could have been issues with your mother, because this is a mother. Um, it stems all the way back to your childhood, just saying. I feel as though, right now, you're hoping to move on. You're hoping to get to a better place. Right here in the future, I feel as though, you know, you have an upcoming unexpected opportunity for a relationship here. I think that there's an un... Yeah, that's what it is. I feel like somebody is going to bump into you. You're going to bump into somebody or you're going to run into somebody at either... It could be a party, a celebration. It could be anywhere. You know, you just bump into somebody and there's some sort of attraction. I feel like this person is going to be looking at you. They're going to see your 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 abundance they're gonna see your um strong character and i feel they're gonna be very very attracted to you i feel like it's probably a, a taurus or a libra or a taurus virgo capricorn or could be a could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius i feel as though you are about to, you are going to get to a better place. And I think that you are making progress. I feel like you are standing in your power. And I think that you have the power to create and get whatever you want. If you are the woman watching this, you are very much, uh, you are very, very beautiful. You are glowing. People can see it. People are highly attracted to you. You have multiple opportunities. It, but you're going to have to unblock your heart. And you're going to have to, you know, probably, you know, there's an opportunity to, you know, come together. I think you may bump into somebody, you know, and you have to think about your independence. Do you even want to give up your independence? I don't think you see this coming. I don't think you see this coming. I feel like, um... 
If you are the male watching this, you probably have a very beautiful individual that you are going to bump into. Okay, this person is, is, is a creator. This person gives life. She nurtures. She loves. She's caring. Um, she knows her value. Again, if you're the woman, this is you. I feel as though we have a very abundant person here that is going to receive some good news. And this is a suitor who is very well suited for you. This is an exciting opportunity, but you're going to have to make the effort, okay? You're going to have to allow and forgive, forgive the past, allow somebody in. I, I, I you know, I really feel like this could, I don't know why. I don't know why, but it feels like it's it's like you don't see this coming, but I feel like you know this person already. I, I do. I do. Um, Emperor, and it's a soulmate. This is a soulmate. Absolute power couple. This is a soulmate. I think this is somebody that you are meant to be with, that you are going to receive a message from. It's going to be good news. This person... Um, really sees your strength they see that you have persevered through something painful and it's like they want to take care of you they want to protect you now they want to build with you they want to, they, they don't even want to marry you you know it's like they come back they you know you bump into them and they have this six of cups i friggin knew it i knew it i did it's like they come back and they want to you know they start talking about the memories or they, re they start reminiscing with you and it's playful and it's fun. I know a lot of you guys don't want that, but it really feels like that's what this is. You know, the Hierophant, there was a lack of faith. They may want to go into it with blind faith. They, you know, maybe they weren't awake before, you know, and now they've seen the light, you know, now they've been enlightened. You know, I really feel like cancer... You should really expect the unexpected because I feel like there's an opportunity for a soulmate connection here. Whether this is somebody new or not, it could be somebody new, but I really, you've known, because this could be a fat past life connection with the Six of Cups. This is a, this is a, this is a true, true, true soulmate connection. It really is. The Four of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Emperor and the Empress. This is a soulmate connection that is absolutely meant to be. There may have been fear of commitment, fear of marriage in the past. But I feel like this person is, you know, this person treated somebody unfairly. They may have treated you unfairly or you treated them unfairly. This could go vice versa. And now... It's like now they wake up, you know, what I, mean? I don't know. We got a power couple here and that's all there is to it. It's like this person is, is your soulmate. This person is very protective. This person is family oriented and they're ready to settle down. <laughs> and you may need to go in this, into this with blind faith. This is a soulmate connection. So I, Cancer, I feel as though you are about to begin a new life. This is like creating a new life. I mean, through the pain. The pain is over. The pain and suffering is over. You are about to receive a reward. This is a miracle. I mean, what more can I say? So, Cancer, I feel as though you are going to be coming together with a soulmate that is from your past. Whether it's a past life connection or it's a past lover or whatever it is I feel as though you are going to come together with somebody from your past and this person is ready to put in effort they're ready to work they're ready to you know do whatever it takes to make it succeed this person is a hard hard worker you may have worked with this person in the past or you may work with them now um, this person really sees your beauty if you are the female if you are the male this person uh sees your stability this the other person sees your ability to take care of them you know if you are the male you're you're dealing with the, the best counterpart you could possibly get but male or female this is meant to be this is this is it 
I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, other than this is an opportunity to uh, for, this is a this is a birth. Somebody could get pregnant, um, but this is meant to be. This is a power couple. These both of these people are very, very, very powerful, and it's like this person says, "I'm going to get my queen." Anyway, king and queen. Good luck. <laughs>